Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly read and this will be for the sign of Libra. Libra, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all your beautiful things that you do for me. I know there are a lot of Libras watch my channel. Um, thank you for your kind donations, the readings you request from me and everything else that's beautiful and wonderful you do for me here. Um, also remember these are general readings. Let's not lose sight of the fact they're general. Lots of Libras looking at the videos. Ooh, judgment. So remember that. Keep it in mind. If it doesn't resonate, check out your other aspects of your natal chart or move on. Um, I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot for your reading. And I will pull you a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle when I have completed the reading. Okay. Well, that's quite interesting. You've got the Nine of Wands after flipping out the Judgment card. Um, I've seen the Judgment card a bit today, so it seems to be a bit of a theme. The Nine of Wands is the card of the Wounded Warrior. So this is about being hurt so many times that you've now got really strong boundaries up. Now, sometimes those boundaries can be healthy in that they protect you. Other times we set our boundaries so high we don't allow people to come in. So we cut ourselves off from opportunities and things coming towards us because we're closed down. And um, Behind that we do have the two of wands. So we are looking here at, at going down a different pathway um, and trying to keep in mind that perhaps we need good boundaries going forward. Um, the strength card's coming out here, so you could be dealing with a Leo, but I feel this is you gaining a sense of strength here in order to move forward. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, others of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this is something about getting past this ego energy. You're moving forward with a lot more strength now, really understanding why these boundaries have not served you in the past. So it could be that you're understanding that you've put the boundaries up because of that devil or ego energy, but it can also mean you have your boundaries set too high and you're limiting yourself on what you can achieve here. Okay, so we have the Hierophant coming out. It's a lot of major arcanas actually coming up here. Um, the Hierophant is the card of stability. It is the card of traditional marriage, large organisations, um, but definitely about being traditional and stable. Okay, three of cups coming out here. So after seeing that Hierophant, I'm thinking some people are dealing with some sort of situation here that they're walking away from to protect themselves because someone else is involved here. Yeah, someone left you out in the cold or else you are feeling out in the cold and ready to move forward with something. So somebody is not putting in an effort here. The world card here. So you're trying to close out this cycle. Okay. Ten of Cups. I've seen the Ten of Cups a lot today too. Ten of Cups is about having everything where you want to have it. It's a beautiful card. It's about total happiness. Completion. Having all your ducks in a row. Right? Okay, yeah, so we've definitely got third-party relationship going on here. Some of you are moving away from a situation where you realise there is no win for you in this situation how it is. So you're moving away. You're starting to understand your own patterns and your own, um, I don't want to say, it's sort of like you're understanding why you get into situations and you can't escape them. Not necessarily the third-party thing, but just putting yourself into uh, situations where you're not gaining you're always walking away from these situations what is going on here okay so you're trying to bring in a sense of stability here this ten of cups you're attaining on your own with this four of wands because you're understanding the patterns and it's part of your spiritual pathway to do this very nice okay then we have the knight of swords someone coming rushing in oh two wanted to come out then Okay, someone you may have been having some sort of conflict with, but something's changing very, very quickly with this. I'll just take another card out because there's an offer coming in, possibly from a water sign. Okay, I feel like strongly the universe is trying to move you away from something. that It's like you've got yourself into some sort of situation and the universe is saying, you keep doing this, you need to move on. So it could be that you're always finding people who are unattainable um, 
that makes me want to burst into Sam Smith's song. Um, and perhaps it's happened again for you. But there's no solution to this current one because something else is involved here. So the person you're dealing with either is married, has another partner, um, is in another situation. Um, it could be a third party. It could be that they have family commitments, something. But something here is wedging between two of you. Now, because of that, you have no stability here. And I think that it looks like you're trying to resolve something. But you've come to a realisation here with the strength card and the world that you better off just to close this cycle out and move on. And doing that is bringing you in a, a sense of stability. But what I love here is closing out all of this negative thinking here and bringing you in a brand new offer from someone new here um, could be a Pisces sitting here in the wings waiting for you but there's definitely this feeling that you're closing something out because you've done it once too often and you're taking a different pathway this time very nice Libra very nice indeed let's pour you an oracle card that was a very quick reading very straightforward um no, nope, can't tell you anything more. You keep getting left out in the cold. Some of you are cycling this feeling of not being able to achieve, but then understanding now why that is um, and moving away from situations that really don't serve your greater good. We have two cards here. So I will read both of them. Now, the first card is yin. Now, sorry, the first card is flexible, number 19. Oh, I went straight to the page too. This is about teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's most important. And it's definite here. I can feel you've learned some sort of lesson. You will not be cycling this again. It's done. Um, a tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane, whereas a rigid structure like a building would come crashing down. Consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it may still be in shambles. This is how you need to be, willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. So I think this is about learning just to go with the flow. Don't try to control it. If it's something you've been doing for a while, some sort of cycle you've been in, let it go and just move with it. Because I think you're keeping yourself, that's card two, isn't it? Yeah. And I've got it upside down. How funny. Um, I think you've got yourself too, too rigid thinking here. Your thinking's too rigid. It should work this way. This is how this should work. And it's just not working for you. So I think you're starting to change your approach and closing out some sort of cycle here. Um, but we'll see what the other card says. So yin is the feminine principle of receptivity. Letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing. And that's why I said I feel like it's a bit of a go with, go with the flow thing. That's why you have flexibility with this. So the Oracle's message is this is a time of calculated receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you, ready to accept it when it appears. So maybe some of you chase after things without letting them go and without letting them come to their own sort of fruition. Um, yin does not involve frozen dreams or even resting, but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you, poised to receive the bounty that will be made available to you. And that's why I said it's about going with the flow. That's why flexibility is there. It implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Remember, you must make space for miracles to appear. Be the shaped, not the shaper, and you'll see how quickly your dreams manifest. Something you'd need to do here. I don't know what it is for some of you. Maybe you're used to sort of trying to push things along, control things. What the universe is saying here is you need to walk away from this, but from here on inwards... You let it move with you. You let it flow. Be flexible. Go with the flow. Have a great week.